It is, of course, the end of summer, and the CNE, the X, is a big priority for thousands of people. And once again, the Canadian International Air Show is making its uh, big return uh, to Toronto. Uh, always attracts a, a very large crowd. And this year, there is an extra twist. One of the um, planes obviously making its uh, appearance at the air show is the uh, F-35, a fighter jet from the U.S., which has uh, been flown in from uh, Utah. Uh, for fans of aviation, but also making an appearance not in the air, but also present at the air show, is the main test pilot uh, for that fighter jet. So I am the chief F-35 test pilot at Edwards Air Force Base for F-35 development for all models of the F-35, so A, B, and C. So we deal in um, flight sciences, so uh, changing the aircraft itself, adjusting it and developing it, mm -hmm. and then also the mission system side, so working in the avionics that are inside the tactical systems in the airplane as well. So the F-35 is a fifth generation platform, right? So the latest in terms of fighter evolution and fighter development. When I tell people about flying the F-35, I say it's not like actually getting in the airplane, it's like putting the airplane on. So I wear a helmet when I'm flying the airplane that has a display in it. And the closest thing I can think of to describe that is it's like in the Marvel uh, movies with Iron Man. So I have all my tactical display, a lot of my tactical displays in the visor of the helmet. Now, Andrew Saudi joined uh, Lockheed Martin uh, just about uh, 12 years ago as a test pilot, and he eventually became uh, the main test pilot for the F-35 in 2013. He is going to be at the air show, and his story took him from the UK to Toronto when he was 16 years old, went to uh, high school in Richmond Hill, and eventually, beyond his wildest dreams, uh, managed to work his way up through uh, the program in the United States to become the main test pilot. You and I were talking earlier on and it's just always good to be home. It always feels like home. His return here is something that he regards as a big return home. He's very proud of his, his accomplishments and his message uh, to young pilots out there is that their dreams are actually possible to achieve. I think that moment has happened so many times in my career, like even getting that call to go to RMC, I, I can still remember that feeling of just seeing something that you've wanted for so long and that you've always aspired to uh, coming true for you and being given those opportunities. And I think it was that same feeling with Lockheed and, and then even after that, to then get the opportunity to fly what's the, the latest and greatest aircraft in our inventory right now. 